it's early May and uh, we've just finished our red deer hunting season for 2016. Uh, very successful season. Just before that we trapped 15 dogs in this area to uh, wild dogs to get them under control. They're causing quite a bit of um, problems with the calves on our cattle around here. But already we've got another pack has moved back into this, uh, this local vicinity. We can hear them howling every night. They're coming out and um, howling at our dogs, our border collies. So Jude and I will just go down here now and we'll set a few traps and we'll see if we can get this pack under control before they do any damage. Well, this season we've purposely put all the rib cages and uh, gut piles that we got from the red deer that we, we took. We've put them all in the one place here so that we've sort of got the, the dogs in step. And uh, what I'll do is I'll use Lucy, our border collie bitch here, to just come out and mark a few spots for me. What I want to do is try and keep the traps away from the gut pile so that we don't uh, catch any non-target species. Lucy's spotted here and she's marked on this just a single tuft of grass here. But we've got a dog scout here and a bone there and some skin where a dog, it looks like a dog's taken a piece off the gut pile and brought it right back here and has you know, chewed out it here. So it might be a, an immature dog if there's a pack here. This could be a younger dog that's come away from the main pack that's been there. Brought a piece over here where it can chew it uh, as heart's content. So what I was gonna try and do is put a trap just off this little tuft. Probably put that uh, foot in closer here where that uh, it'll actually get the animal probably to move around. And I think we'll have them come in and try and mark or sniff on that um, on that uh, drop that uh, Lucy's done here. So it's a little bit of a complex one because we don't want uh, a vehicle to drive over it and we don't want a cow to come in here. So I'll probably put a couple more sticks here as well just to get things in the right place. You can always look back and be a little bit creative, a bit constructive. I'd shift that piece of grass there out of the road. We've got a spot there where the bitch is marked. We've got the little tuft that she was smelling at really intensely before she marked there. We've got a scat here. I'll put a branch there so with any luck the dog will walk around here. Either come this way around or that way around. And either way it shouldn't step on that stick. It should either put a paw in front of it or behind it. Okay, the plan worked. We've got a, uh, a dog I think in the first trap that we set. We've got this big mature bitch in the uh, in the first trap that we set. It shows how good these these whack traps are. I've actually only got that that um, dog by two toes. That's caught that dog by just two toes and it hasn't broken the toes, it's held it there securely, the foot's not swollen. They're absolutely awesome trap these ones, they're very very humane. We've got a lot of fog around this morning, I'm just coming in on our first set of traps and uh, we've got a dog in the same trap that I caught the one in yesterday morning. So just make sure there's no other dogs around here because you never know, there could be a second dog just waiting off the side here. Okay, that's number two dog. Right, this is a great success for us here. This is a big old dog, real big old dog. Big broad head and uh, a lot of grey around his muzzle. His teeth are starting to wear down. And uh, this would be a real calf killer for this area. So yeah, great success. Full poor catch with a whack trap, uh, great job again. Hopefully now with this guy gone and the big bitch gone, the two probably lead dogs, I should be able to clean up most of the pups as well. This is our world, this is our wild country.